Hello, I'm Angela Dempsey, Christian author and blogger. Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. It is my goal for this channel that people find encouragement to follow my Lord Jesus Christ and to fully focus on Him. I wanted to share uh, with you something that has recently inspired me. I saw a YouTube video by Apostle Dutch Sheets called Command the Forward, F-O-R-E-W-O-R-D, like the beginning of a book. When he started sharing the story of Cape Henry, I got excited because it reminded me of a trip that I took to Virginia Beach in 2010. My late husband and I discovered Cape Henry because of my love for lighthouses. But the thing that I could not stop telling people about was this amazing memorial cross. My husband and I prayed here at this location under this cross for our nation in 2010. It was an, a powerful experience that I carried with me for quite a while. Many say that America was not founded on Christian values and they've tried to wipe out our history. But I'm standing at the site where a group of settlers landed in 1607 after 144 days, almost five months on a ship. They waited on their ship three additional days and prayed and fasted for their new nation. And on April 27, 1607, they took wood from their ship and they erected a cross right here at this location. Robert Hunt, their leader, prayed and prophesied the following words long before our Revolutionary War. We do hereby dedicate this land and ourselves to reach the people within these shores with the gospel of Jesus Christ and to raise up godly generations after us. And with these generations, take the kingdom of God to all the earth. May this covenant of dedication remain to all generations as long as the earth remains. And may this land, along with England, be evangelist to the world. May all who see this cross remember what we have done here. And may those who come here to inhabit join us in this covenant and in the most noble work that the Holy Scriptures may be fulfilled. And after that prayer, he read the following Bible passage. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the kindreds of nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, he ruleth among the nations. Psalm 22, verse 27 and 28. I've been doing a study of the book of Nehemiah, and I think there are many comparisons to the modern day. The task of building the wall in Jerusalem was monumental, but God put it in the heart of one man to motivate the remnant in the city. Nehemiah encouraged them by being bold and being brave. It was impossible for him to build the wall himself. He had everyone take care of a little piece in front of their property, and before too long, the city was fortified. We have a monumental task of spiritually rebuilding our country. There is a harvest that is ready. People are starving for the truth of God. They are tired of fake, watered-down messages. The people are hungry. We have what they need to eat. We have the truth of God. Like in the story of Nehemiah, if we build the wall in front of our house, we will accomplish our task. In other words, we don't have to go far to reach the lost. We need to reach our families, our communities, and those around us. God will guide us and show us what he needs us to do if we just trust in his plan. The most important thing we have to work with is our Bible and prayer. Prayer is our connection to God. It is our lifeline for strength, instruction, and comfort. It is how we build a relationship with him. But we cannot just talk to him. We need to sit quietly and listen for him to speak to us also. The memorial cross I stand under today is to remind us of the generations that have gone before us. Many who fled Europe for religious freedom. It is up to each of us to pray for our nation and declare the words of the Lord. Things are getting ready to appear scary as God's shaking occurs. But God will protect his people. We have no reason to fear. I want to stress that point again. Do not fear. God has got us in the palm of his hand. If you're ever in the Virginia Beach area, it is amazing to stand underneath this cross and think about the blessings we have in America to be free. We cannot allow the freedom to worship our Lord Jesus Christ to be taken away. So stand up, my friends. Stay strong in your faith and fight back evil with prayer. We can rebuild our nation if we unite together. 
I thank God for those who are operating in the offices of the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. They are there to help the body of Christ to align with his will. I hope this video will be an encouragement to you to step out of your comfort zone, reach out to God for his direction, and then take on the task of helping to fortify this country's spiritual walls. Not to keep people out, but to give them a safe place to run when the enemy is trying to destroy them. Please like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focused.